I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> like a lot. A lot. And boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. So I go to that place of kind of low resistance and then I relax and I be lazy and I took those pieces of advice that I loved from you before which said just allow it to happen and stay back and watch and then it'll come to you and now I think I'm gone so far in least resistant that I'm actually resisting again from not doing anything I'm not having that Well here's the thing drive. this is an important thing to understand when you want something and your vibrational patterns have been opposing it you can develop a a pattern of vibration that actually makes you feel paralyzed your mind is saying I want to do it your mind is saying I need to do it your mind is saying I should do it but you can't move you just feel paralyzed so we want you to just relax into that and say things all of you and say things to yourself like when the timing is right I'll feel it when the momentum is right my feeling of responding will be clear to me and in the meantime everything's all right because look at it this way and you could apply this to anything that you want let's say that here's you on your way to a rendezvous point with something you want maybe it's a lover that's easier to see because it's another person that you can see making their way to the rendezvous point maybe it's financial abundance maybe it's creative success maybe it's creative flow just rendezvousing with the inspiration for some musical piece so you're on your way to some rendezvous point and you're all determined like you used to be to just do whatever it takes to get there so you just keep rushing to the place but nobody rendezvous with you that's happening to you a lot you're giving it everything you've got with all of your effort and energy and action all of your effort that physical energy effort action so you keep showing up just like they said if you show up then it'll work this way if you do this if you jump through these hoops if you do this and this and this and this and this and this then these wonderful things will happen so you keep showing up at what you think is the rendezvous point but the money doesn't meet you there the lover doesn't meet you there the other doesn't meet you there and the reason for that hear this we so want you to hear this the reason is because your timing was off it's a rendezvous point it's not a point where it goes there and stays there forever more waiting for you it's a rendezvous point are you getting what we're talking about you're rendezvousing with this you see and so timing is really an important thing and timing you know this from your creative musical work timing is inspired every single time timing is inspired so if you're agitated your timings off if you're irritated your timing is off. if you're going to wrestle it to the ground and kill it your timing is off if you're just going to make it happen because you're just used to making things happen your timing is off you want to be in that relaxed state where ideas flow easily into your mind and in exactly the same way that those musical concepts occur to you and you know them when you get them and then you easily translate them into something that is tangible and audible in exactly the same way the impulse is about everything else the business aspect of your life's work will occur to you in just that same way but these are the things you got to stop doing you got to stop beating up on yourself but we can't tell anybody to stop doing something because this is not a universe where you can exclude anything it's a universe where you have to include something else so you have to give yourself a break mm -hmm. you know what's happening Esther calls it her monkey mind what happens is your mind that wants to be active all the time that law of attractions response to thoughts what's happening is in not rendezvousing exactly where you want to rendezvous you're trying to figure out why you're not rendezvousing you're trying to place blame on the industry or place blame on yourself or you're trying to figure out all of the reasons why not and that just keeps momentum thinking going too much, yeah. thinking way too much yeah so if we could convince all of you today to just try it for a little while feel your way places rather than think your way places feel how it feels when you are in that flow of music feel how that feels feel how it feels when everything's in alignment for you
it may feel to some of you like we're taking too much time with the first person in the chair we want you to understand that this is the seminar that we want to give all day every day because every one of you have things that you want that you're wanting to make your way to and you're making your way to them for the most part as humans with actions and words rather than with vibrations and centeredness so we've been talking to you with you in lots of different ways about how to find that place but the bottom line is if you're worried about something you've got yourself in a vibrational holding pattern Esther was flying into Stamford Connecticut last weekend and there was some airline delays and so forth and so she was diverted to another airline and to another airport into LaGuardia because there was weather and there was weather in LaGuardia and so the captain said we're in a holding pattern over Baltimore and so it was still a beautiful day the Sun was just setting Esther had a window seat and she was just so enjoying what she was seeing out the window in this holding pattern a part of her wanted to be frustrated because she wanted to be underway she knew that there people were here waiting for her with equipment that was essential to the setup she wanted to be there she wanted to be there to keep her commitment to those who were waiting but she had no choice she couldn't get off the airplane so she could sit there and feel frustrated or she could relax into the holding pattern she could make the best of the holding pattern so there's a woman sitting next to her and she said they hadn't been talking both of them had been working and doing other things and Esther is looking out the window and her new friend looked out the window and saw how beautiful it was clouds and lots of clouds they were above the clouds and the Sun was above the clouds probably figured that out shining it was really beautiful and the Sun was about to set and Esther said have you heard about the green flash and the woman said what is that and Esther said well sometimes when the atmospheric conditions are perfect as the Sun just drops beneath the horizon sometimes there's a green flash Esther says I've looked for it hundreds of times and I've seen it twice but I always look when the situation is right so Esther said let's look and then <laughs> green flash and Esther thought this holding pattern is not so bad <laughs> this is not such a bad holding pattern in other words the universe is still yielding lovely life to me lovely new friend to me lovely experience to me I'm not going exactly where I thought I wanted to go because I really want to be on the ground by now long ago on the ground by now long ago at the hotel by now instead I'm over Baltimore in a holding pattern living happily ever after over Baltimore so then there's another piece to this that we want to explain and that is how long can we remain over Baltimore and then the pilot said we don't have enough fuel folks to remain in this holding pattern much longer and Esther thought well there it is it's coming into focus we don't have enough fuel to remain in the holding pattern so something's gonna give and then he came right back and said we've been cleared for our approach into LaGuardia and Esther thought that's always the way isn't it in other words some other factor comes in that causes the focus to be a little stronger and if you have been in a holding pattern where your resistance has been dissipated then the desire is the dominant thing you get what we're talking about you get the analogy that desire to be on that ground by the captain by the crew by the air traffic control everyone knew it was not a viable solution for them to just stay in that holding pattern forevermore and that's what's got you frustrated you keep holding yourself in a holding pattern because you haven't done the only thing that matters which is release your own tension by just relaxing into what is and making the best of it there are no more important words that will ever be said about anything just relax into where you are and make the best of it find the best feeling that you can feel the relief of that feel the release of it and then air traffic control will give you the impulse for you to proceed on your approach into the landing that you're looking for yeah I'm ready to land yeah 
Well, don't worry about it. Everything's yeah. good for you. Gonna, we enjoyed enjoy, this. In I'm going to enjoy the holding pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Until, until something just kind of moves yeah. me to that place. Yeah. And, and while you're in it, don't smoke marijuana and the whole don't time. Don't smoke me the whole time. <laughs> That's the only conversation that we ever had ever, it would be enough. <laughs>